Hi everybody. Today is Maundy Thursday. Today is a special day in our church because we learn and think about and talk about the Last Supper. This is the last meal that Jesus shared with his disciples and it is the beginning of his journey to the cross. So we're going to read a story about it and then I have copied a link to a really fun crossword puzzle for you to do based on the, what you learn from the story. So feel free after the video to go and get that link and maybe a parent or a grown up can help you print out the crossword puzzle and you can fill it in. All right, ready for our story? The story is called The Last Supper. See Jesus there? Okay, let's go this way. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world. He wanted to share his, his last Passover meal together with his 12 closest friends, the disciples. Jesus loved his friends and wanted to show them his love in a very caring way. As the friends got ready for the meal, Jesus put water in a large bowl and knelt down on the floor. He wanted to wash the feet of each disciple. When it was Peter's turn, Peter said to Jesus, You will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, Peter, you don't understand what I am doing now, but you will later. Peter loved Jesus so much, he said, Then don't just wash my feet, but wash my head and my hands also. Peter wanted to be as close to Jesus as possible. As they were eating, Jesus sadly told his disciples, Soon one of you will betray me. One of you will tell people who don't like me where I am so they can take me away. And this upset the disciples, and each one said, It's not me you're talking about, is it? When Judas said this, Jesus gently replied, Yes, Judas, you will betray me. Then Jesus picked up a loaf of bread. He blessed it and gave some to each of his friends, saying, Take this bread and eat it. This is my body. Then Jesus picked up a cup of wine. He gave thanks and said, Drink this. It is my blood of which I must give up so the sins of people may be forgiven. When the meal was over, Jesus and his friends went to a place called the Mount of Olives. Jesus said sadly, Soon you will all leave me. Peter felt bad. Even if all the others leave you, I won't, he said. Jesus looked at his dear friend and said quietly, Before the sun rises, you will pretend you don't know me three times. Peter said, Jesus, I love you too much to ever do that to you. And all the other disciples said the same thing. The end. So during this story, it starts out where they're getting ready for their meal and Jesus washes their feet. Back then, when Jesus was alive, people wore sandals. And they walked everywhere. They didn't have cars and things like that, so they walked everywhere. And the roads weren't paved. They were made of dirt. So people's feet got really dirty. And so before each meal, they would wash their feet because they also didn't sit in chairs like we did. They laid on the floor on their arm and ate this way, and their feet would be right next to the face of someone else. I know. Can you imagine if that's how we ate? But in order to make sure that the table and everything was clean, or that where people were eating was clean, they washed their feet before dinner. And this time, night was special because Jesus got down and washed their feet. Jesus served the, his friends. He was a servant. And Jesus calls us to do that too. So tonight we learn about being a servant. We also celebrate the last supper, the last meal that they had. And tonight at our church, since we can't be together, we are all going to try and eat dinner at the same time. And we're going to say a special prayer and watch a special video. 
and remember how much God loves us, how much Jesus loves us, that he gave his body in bread form and his blood in wine form for us, for forgiveness of our sins and so that we would know how much we are loved. And then after the supper was over, Jesus told the disciples, somebody is going to betray me. And we know the rest of the story. So we know that the person who betrayed Jesus, his name is Judas. We'll hear more about him tomorrow on Good Friday. And then right at the end of the story, Jesus talks to one of the disciples named Peter. Peter was Jesus' best friend. He was the top disciple. And in the story, Jesus says, that every one of the disciples will pretend like they don't know Jesus. And Peter, that hurt Peter's heart. And so Peter said to Jesus, not me. I will always stand by your side. And Jesus told Peter, that's not true. Unfortunately, you will deny me. You will say you're not my friend three times. And the reason that Peter does this is he's scared. He's scared that he will get hurt too. You know, sometimes we're scared and we don't do the right thing. But part of this story is to remind us that even when we don't do the right thing, that Jesus loves us so much that he gave his life so that we might be forgiven, so that we might know we are loved. I encourage you to do the crossword puzzle. It looks like a lot of fun. If you can't figure out one of the answers, have a grown-up call me and I'll help you figure it out. Um, remember that God loves you very much, and so do I. And I'll see you tomorrow for Good Friday. I hope you have a wonderful Monday Thursday, and I'm excited to eat dinner at the same time as you tonight. See you tomorrow.